Joining me on the show now, UGC Chairman M. Jagdish Kumar. Many thanks, sir, for speaking with NDTV. First of all, sir, some students, as you heard, are complaining about facing errors on their admit cards. How will these issues be resolved as the test starts tomorrow? Right. Um, there could be a few errors uh, if they are reported to you. They can immediately call NTA on their helpline or send an email and appropriate corrections will be done. There is no need uh, to worry at all. Sir, is there any redressal mechanism that allows students to seek another date, for instance, for taking the exam in case uh, confusion still persists and it's not resolved? So far, we have not uh, come across any such cases where uh, students have not received their admit card. Uh, in case there is any genuine case, so we will definitely look into it. Hmm. Okay. Uh, sir, the duration for the examination for some is long and it's all online. Could many, especially in tier 2 cities, be at a disadvantage then? How do you plan to keep it a level playing field? Because after all, that was the motive of CUET. Uh, you see, we already have a neat exam uh, where, in fact, more than uh, you know, 15 lakh students participate coming from rural and remote areas also. And we also have the JEE mains exam where lakhs of students participate. So I don't think uh, the students who come from rural background have uh, any disadvantage. In fact, I come from a rural background from a village. Uh, those kids are very, very smart. All right, but sir, there's some amount of confusion over examination centers as well. Some say that they've got two centers for two different sessions. Do you think this could have been executed better at least? Uh, so few representations have come from the students uh, saying that for paper one, uh, their center is in one city, but for paper two, uh, the center is in, uh, in some other city, which is far away. Uh, we have requested uh, all such cases to write to us and we collect uh, those requests until 6 p.m. every day okay. and in the night we analyze next day by 6 a.m. Uh, we send the uh, change in the center to the students so there is absolutely no problem so far we have received uh, um, uh, such uh, requests and then we have immediately resolved that all right uh, sir this examination of course is new so most are even unsure about the pattern some have taken mock tests but they are still unsure as to how the final day is going to be like how will this be streamlined at least for the future so let me use uh, this opportunity to tell the students hmm. uh, how the pattern of uh, mcq based uh, tests are in general uh, whether it is neat jee -E, or CUET, the pattern of questions will be based on four types of questions. One type of questions are called recall questions. Um, they are based on simple facts, simple formulae, and so on. And the other type of questions are based on comprehension. These questions test your understanding of the basic concepts. And the third type of questions are called application-oriented questions where you need to use the concepts that you already know, solve a problem to find the solution to this problem. And the fourth type of questions are based on analysis and synthesis, and that is where the logical reasoning and other things come. Uh, so in these questions, you may have a paragraph of information. You need to read that, analyze it, and then answer uh, uh, the questions. Now, there are two kinds of, two, three kinds of questions that are usually present in any kind of MCQ-based, computer-based test. Uh, in one case, you have a common data set in a paragraph, and under that you have two, three questions. So using this common data set, you solve these two, three questions and identify the correct answer. And in the other set of questions, you have a common paragraph, and under that you may have two questions. Uh, you solve the first question, but the answer of the second question is based on um, the first question. So they are linked questions. And in most of the cases, you will have four options. You need to choose the correct option on the screen. But there can also be questions where you have two columns. Uh, you have A, B, C, D in one column, and then you have uh, another A1, B1, C1, D1 in the other column. Mm -hmm. You need to solve the problem using the information that is given in the paragraph and 
uh, match um, the answers in these two columns. So generally, mm -hmm. the pattern of any computer-based MCQ revolves around uh, the things that I, I have just now told. All right. I'm, I'm sure that's going to be useful for the students. So my final question to you is, sir, that the idea over the years has been to reduce pressure on students. Isn't this move of having this common entrance test doing perhaps just the opposite? Isn't it likely to increase the pressure? Uh, you see, entrance tests are a common phenomenon globally, wherever the scale of admission is very high. Um, because the admission process is highly competitive. Therefore, the evaluation has to be uh, any uh, human interference so that there is no bias in terms of the evaluation of the answer scripts. So in the case of the computer-based test, it is machine evaluated. So therefore, it is highly ob objective. So that way, it is actually beneficial uh, to the students. And the other thing, of course, is um, that uh, since there is no stress in the minds of the students to get 99%, 100% uh, scores in the board exams, they can actually focus more on learning. And even if I get 60%, 65%, I have a great opportunity to attempt CUET and look for admission in some of my dream universities. So therefore, um, with whomever I spoke, whether it is academicians, parents, or students, um, all of them have actually welcomed the introduction of CUET. All right, Jagdish Kumar, many thanks for speaking with us on that very critical issue.